Well, this is my laboratory. Johnson was experimenting on a new kind of heat pump in his bathroom of all places a when a blast of water bathroom. suddenly Looking shot out of a nozzle. And the stream of water was so powerful that it set up air currents in the uh, bathroom. And I thought to myself, she would make a neat water gun. And at that point, I decided, well, you know, why don't I put the high-tech science stuff on hold for a while and go work and, and see if I could develop a toy, it's something that anybody could appreciate. So it was about a year later that I actually had my first working gun. And that was basically how the Super Stroker came to fruition. Pulling the trigger actually opens the valve and allows the compressed water to go from the tank into the nozzle like this. Of course, I wanted to create a business around this. I was going to manufacture it and sell it and make a whole bunch of money. After seven years and a lot of rejection, Lonnie found a company, Laramie Toys, that was willing to market his squirt gun on steroids. It was in 1989 when I first met the people at Laramie. We started working together to implement a production model, something that could be manufactured. A few months later that I saw the final gun, it was just uh, exciting for me to see that the thing was really turning into a, a product that was going to go to the market. The problem then became one where we were talking about a gun that was basically about 10 to 14 dollars and people were used to paying one or two dollars for a water gun. There was no advertising. We put them in the stores and then we watched to see what happened and they just blew out right away. I started to see the roll to check start to ramp up and I got my first really interesting check and I looked and I said, wow, this is, this is doing okay. Laramie was being pushed to run TV commercials. The gun was put on TV and it blew out again. The demand was so much, the production companies could not keep up with it. And then I got my next royalty check, where I had to stop and sit down because it was a lot more than, and when I saw it, I realized my life had changed permanently. Did it ever. Johnson's gamble paid off big time to the tune of a billion dollars in sales and counting. Assuming an inventor's royalty of a few percent, Lonnie's paycheck to date is in the very cushy neighborhood of $20 million. I knew Super Soaker from the beginning would be a great toy, but in terms of how that translated into dollars, I was just not prepared for it. So I had to sit down for a few minutes and kind of realize the potential impact that that would have on my life.